So I first arrived at Imperial College in 1993, as I need to take a breath, the Lloyds of London Tercentenary Research Fellow. So I first came here in, from 1986 to 1989. I was an undergraduate doing a bachelor's degree in mathematics. And what attracted me to Imperial College was I wanted to do science. I knew I wanted to be at a scientific university. I knew that I really liked mathematics, obviously. Um, and I also wanted to be in a big and exciting city. I wanted to feel at the heart of something. I always wanted to work at Imperial. Um, I come from North London, and so if you're growing up interested in science and you're a Londoner, of course Imperial College is, you know, the great temple of science, and you aspire to one day going there. When I look back to my own experience as an undergraduate, in my own setting, I found it transformational to be an undergraduate here. It gave me an opportunity, a learning opportunity, and a life opportunity that has stood me in good stead forever afterwards. And I would like to make sure that every student has the same feeling about their time here that I, that I do. Uh, if I were talking to the student me and, and, give, and giving advice, Try and engage with the information in a way that gives you time to be critical. And, and I think that that is really what we're training people to do. In a world where information is freely available, it's the higher level skills that are more important. How can you tell if the thing you're reading is nonsense or not? That kind of stuff. And the temptation is to simply sit at the keyboard and write now. Whereas actually the smart thing to do is to actually sit back for a couple of days with a completely blank piece of paper and just think about how this thing should be structured before you ever touch the keyboard. I would say remember to enjoy it um, and don't just think about work. I would have thought probably to have a bit more fun probably and relax a bit more and take more advantage of London. <laughs>